This is a short video about antioxidation drips with glutathione and hydrogen. Glutathione is a very powerful antioxidant and gets oxidized very very rapidly. Conventional air packed glutathione will lose their efficiency very soon and eventually you might be putting in less effective glutathione on the patient. The most advanced packing of the purest glutathione is in sterile hydrogen atmosphere. You mean it means that the package should be packed in hydrogen gas. IAOS glutathione is 1.2 grams packed in hydrogen and is probably the world's first. The following procedure shows how to give an antioxidation drip for numerous conditions. This is the IOS 1200 milligram glutathione ampule. First of all, we take a 100 ml normal saline and this is hung to a drip stand. The hydrogen machine is beside the patient switched on and is already bubbling hydrogen. Both the nurse and the surgeon don gloves and we mix the nutraceuticals often called Mayer's cocktail or other cocktails depending on the concussion or the concentration of the drugs you use. Here we are using vitamin B1, B6, B12 brand name Polybion 1 Ampure and vitamin B12 alone renamed Renerve 1 Ampure. These are now mixed into the bottle by puncturing from the top of the bottle. The needle is left alone to act as an air vent for the hydrogen bubbling. A new needle is used, an ampule of vitamin B12 is taken and the same is given. Routinely, unless there is a B12 deficiency or the patient is diabetic, B12 vitamin should not be given. Here the patient is a juvenile diabetic, so I am giving her vitamin B12. Each time we inject the nutraceutical, the needle is left in the bottle and the syringe alone is removed. We have now a multi-dose vial of vitamin C with about 1000 milligram per ml of vitamin C. We are extracting 3 ml of vitamin C which will make it 3 grams. Vitamin C doses can be increased in conditions like post chemotherapy, post malignancy or other situations. For general well-being, vitamin C of 2 to 3 grams is enough. In this drip, as there are other air vents, as we push the medicine, nothing escapes. IOS glutathione is packed in a sterile hydrogen gas atmosphere and you can see that it appears in a lyophilized cake form and not in an oxidized powdery form. We now take an ordinary transfusion set. The set is opened and the bulb part of it is inserted into the hydrogen out 
of the molecular hydrogen generator. We must ensure that the needle is fixed tightly to the opposite end so that it does not burst out while inflation. The needle is pushed into the 100 ml saline bottle and hydrogen is allowed to bubble into the bottle. We wait for about 8 to 10 minutes of bubbling so that the hydrogen is well bubbled and the saline is well hydrogenated. Another transfusion set is taken. This will be the one which will introduce the neutrostatical situation, neutrostatical solution into the patient's body. The set is primed, the excess of saline is removed, it is hung on the top and the hydrogen is allowed to bubble through the bottle while a vein is found and the thinnest venflon that the patient will comfortably tolerate is used. We do not want, we treat the veins delicately as repeated IV procedures may be needed. Here I am seeing a very thick vein and I am instructing my nurse not to spoil that vein but to change the tourniquet and use a vein, a thinner vein around the wrist because this is such a good vein that I feel reluctant for it to be used. My nurse however insists and she says that this is a good vein. The cannula is inserted into the vein. We can see that it is a single pass through. and the cannula is inside the vein. Now the neutrocytical solution of vitamin B and vitamin C diluted in 100 ml of normal saline is, pa is connected to the patient's venflon hydrogen is being infused or bubbled in the saline bottle continuously. The bottle is just 100 ml in volume while the amount of hydrogen that is being bubbled is close to 600 ml per minute and that is why we have so many air vents to prevent the bottle from bubbling and bottle from expanding and collapsing. The glutathione ampule is now opened. We have to ensure that the mixing is done at the right and crucial moment so that we do not leave a dissolved glutathione to oxidize and we inject it at the precise moment when about half the bottle, half the saline bottle is empty. Here the gluta, the distilled water ampule is injected into the bottle. The bottle is well shaken. The infusion is half way through and once 50 percent of the neutrocytical solution hydrogenated has been perfused or transfused into the patient. We extract the glutathione which will be about 8 ml or 10 ml after dissolving. 
because of a syringe no particulate material will enter the syringe the entire glutathione in the vial is emptied into the syringe the needle is poked into the saline bottle which now has about 40 to 50 ml of saline we can see how hydrogen is bubbling through the nitrostatic situation solution and how the glutathione is being bubbled is being inser- injected into the 100 ml bottle of nitrostatic once that is done the needle is alone the syringe is alone removed leaving the needle in the bottle to act as an air vent hydrogen continues to bubble and we wait till it is nearly empty as another patient is about to come we start the process of priming that and getting it ready we wait for the hydrogen to bubble fully and the existing bottle to empty and the drip set to empty into the patient and once the neutrospheric solution drops below the level of the bulb the needle is extracted and pushed into the other bottle so that it can remain hydrogenated while we are concluding the session of this patient the other part will be hydrogenated and again the same procedure will be repeated for the next subject you can see the subject who is none else but my assistant arunima and she has felt remarkably happy with her glutathione sessions and this she takes for performance enhancement and general well being glutathione is a wonderful molecule and the pdf file that is being shared in this group along with this lecture will tell you full details in case you are watching this video on youtube please message me on the number that is shown subsequently and i will be happy to send you a pdf file if you are a qualified medical practitioner or a therapist here is a number where you have to send a whatsapp message please do not call please send messages only thank you and have a good day